Hello, Aubies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Ellen Norris. And Ellen is asking about uh, making a dipole antenna, and she is referring back to one of the very first Ask Dave videos that I made, where I made a 6 meter uh, dipole. And there's a fundamental misconception here, so I think we will straighten it out and make life a lot easier for Ellen. Okay, so when we do a dipole, a dipole antenna, first of all, it's a half wave. One half wave. So the standard formula for how long that should be is 468 over the frequency in megahertz gives you the length in feet, okay, feet. So you, if it's 6.5 feet, that'd be 6 foot 6 inches, okay. So you can figure that out. Now, dipoles, just like I said, a half wavelength of wire, it'd be about 66 feet long if it were 40 meters. Um, and there are many ways to feed a dipole. You can feed them in the middle. You can feed them at the one-third point. Uh, there, the resistance is about uh, 200 ohms, so you need a, a ballon. Or you can feed it at the end, where it has very high resistance, so you'd want something like a 49 to 1 ballon. Now, in the video that Ellen is referring to, I made a 6 meter antenna, just to illustrate how antennas are made. And uh, I used, um, uh, let's see, it's uh, electric fence insulators, which I got down at Murdoch's, which is our local ranch supply. And you run the one end, and then there's an, sort of an egg insulator, and this end goes here, and that's the end of it. There's a wire that goes back and wraps around that a little bit. Okay, and then the other wire, there is a hole through here, which I wrapped around like that. The two ends do not touch. Now they do overlap by about a half inch. That doesn't matter. Okay. The thing is that they are insulated from each other. Now from here, I attached a wire. From here, I attached a wire. Okay. And then the coax came up here. And there's a center. And the center went over here, and the shield went over here. Okay, this is a very simple, now I will grant you, this is unmatched, uh, not unmatched, un balanced. It's, it's unbalanced line. And this is here, looking this way and this way, balanced. Now you could put a one-to-one -one ballon here, right in here, if you wanted to. I personally have never had good luck with one-to-one -one ballons. If you want, you could put a choke ballon by putting some ferrite beads here around this thing. Um, but I wouldn't bother with it. I'd just try it the way it is there. And you want this end of the coax anyway to come to your lightning arrestor, which uh, is grounded to a ground rod, and then it goes on into the house, okay, so that any RF that's on the outside of this line hits ground before it goes into your shack. But the point of this is that uh, the coax comes all the way up here, and these two sides do not touch each other, but rather that's where we're driving the uh, coax, okay? So, she says, I see that you wrap one end around the circumference of the insulator and the other through the center. Yes. Why not both through the center? Well, you can, but I kind of like to keep them apart. You then attach them together. No, I didn't. I didn't attach them together. Um, it was not one continuous wire. It was split. 
and I put one half of the coax to the center conductor of the coax and the other half of the dipole to the uh, shield on the coax. Note that when you do this uh, the coax end is open to rain and so you want to put some sort of sealant around it you can use uh, just uh, some bathroom tile sealant or something like that that you can get at Home Depot and put around that to make sure that that end is waterproof uh, waterproof it all the way to the end of the coax braid because that braid just wicks water right inside and it will do that we do have a giveaway going on this is giveaway number three and what we are giving away is this little thing right up here this is a micro bitx qrp rig it's assembled everything works and it is uh, from India okay so um, it comes with a microphone I'll include a power cord too you can put a key in there um, or headphones key headphones I can't remember which is which it does have on the back a little USB connector that you can use to um, reprogram it here's your power this is the antenna which is a unfortunately a BNC connector so you may need a BNC to you may need a BNC um, adapter to get it to whatever uh, your coax fitting is uh, to enter the giveaway please send a postcard or QSL card or letter to Dave Kassler KE0OG PO Box 98 uh, Ridgeway, Colorado 81432. Mark on it somewhere a number three because it's giveaway number three. And then inside or on the back of the card, put your uh, name and call sign, your shipping address, where you want this shipped to, and um, your phone number. I don't need your email address. Um, the phone number is there just in case I have any questions about the entry and um, we'll pick the uh, entry at uh, one of the live streams the last live stream in the month of october okay please mail your entry because the post office has just gone postal these days it's gone wacko mail it in plenty of time at least a week prior to the giveaway uh, get your postcard uh, in the mail to me it seems like some of these are taking up to a week uh, to get to me. So enter early and please just one entry per person. So don't enter early and often, just early. Um, and we'll announce the results of that at the live stream, uh, the last live stream of the month. So um, there you have it. Uh, please click like, please subscribe. I just went over 100,000 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. And until we next meet, 73.